Okay, here's our stair ledger nailed or attached to the stair landing and our new head out connection. So remember we deducted an inch and a half from the back of our stair stringer. This is what the inch and a half is for, the ledger that we put on there. Now we used a 2 by 10 because we wanted to make sure we had enough room here. If we would have used a 2 by 8 it would have been to about here and this bottom part here wouldn't have had full um, <coughs> I don't know if I got that there, I might have been moving the camera. 2 by 8 would have been about here and we would have been a little short on our stringer. We want to make sure we have enough. Now you can always use two 2 by 6s, two 2 by 4s, a 2 by 4 and a 2 by 6, whatever you want. This area underneath here usually isn't going to get um, usually isn't going to get exposed to anything. If you were drywalling underneath this, obviously we would need to be able to continue this line up here and it would have to be shorter. So that sounds like another video though. That gives you a good idea how to attach that. I'd like to take a look at the story pole again. So here we go with this. Now again, your story pole is useful for double checking everything. You can see once we put a half inch stair tread on there, we're going to be right where we want to be. There we go. Hopefully I'm not wiggling the camera too much. That gives you a good idea. Gives you a good idea what you want to be. Now we're going to put two more stringers on here and put some plywood on, and then you'll have a pretty good idea how to build a simple set of stairs.